All right, well, we will go ahead and get started just because I'm a time freak. I am not your, well, I'm not a realtor, but I'm not your realtor brain. I don't like being late. <laughs> um, so today I want to show you how to create a digital business card that is free. Um, and what it does is when you create this, it will actually add your contact information into their contacts on their phone, like their address book. So what you're creating is what's called a V card um, with this code generator. Um, and I put, I'll add it back into the chat too as more people come in. Um, this is the website that I use. It's free. It's super easy. Um, so we're going to start and make our QR code, which I duped myself the QR code queen. Um, so um, we'll start with this, add our stuff, and then we'll um, create that. And basically what it's going to do is you create an image that you can add to your lock screen on your phone. So when you're out and about, or if you're concerned with security, which I've seen some reviews about that, um, in comments as I was researching this, you can just save it as a picture or, you know, something like that so that it's a little more secure. But so by doing this, basically you're creating a QR code that they can scan and then it'll add your contact information in that person's phone. So one, that gets your contact information in their phone. And two, if you don't have your business card on you, say you run into somebody at the store or, you know, out at dinner because you guys are basically celebrities um, when you're out and about and you find somebody that you know, um, it just gives it an easier way to get that information out. So I'm at qr-code-generator.com. Um, that's where I'm starting at. And how did you get from the, the beginning of that to the V, v card? Um, let me see. I honestly just Google it. Okay. So this is the home screen. Then you're just going to click V card here at the top and it'll switch to the information. Hold on. I'm going to close the blinds. I'm getting blinded by the light. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for that on YouTube. <laughs> And it still didn't work. That's okay. That's better. Um, so I'm going to put in my information. This will be your contact information that you want them to have. This is not my cell phone, but we're going for it. Um, second phone number. Say if that's your like desk number, you want them to have the office fax number. Uh, that's a guess. Your email. Company. It could be your team name, um, whatever makes sense to you. Put as much or as little information in here as you want. Obviously, the more the better because that gives them easier access to get to you. Um, so, what street? And I apologize, my pre fill stuff is insane. So, state, Ohio. Um, you put in your web address. Um, so you can, if you want to get a little cutesy with it, you can have it be framed, um, different little frame options, shape, color. Do you want them to be dots like the generation or the QR? Oh, so there are some things that are free, some things that are not. Um, you can change the color if you really want to. The only thing I would preface with this is have a game plan of what you want your picture to be before you pick a color. I'm just gonna leave it black just to be safe for now. Um, so we'll do that. If you, I don't know what this does. Oh, put a logo in the middle if you wanna upload your own. Let's see if that's, nope, that's not, it's not a thing, but up to you how you wanna, um, decorate it per se, but V card, fill out your info. Um, I'm sure you've got to pay for this. Yeah. If you want the paid version, you can do scan tracking. Um, so you can download a vector file if you want, not really needed. JPEG is good enough for what we're doing. So we'll generate our code. We'll hit download. 
And this pops up, just let it go. This right here is saying it's generating. You don't need to sign up for anything. We'll just let it rip, okay. Down there in the bottom left, you'll see it downloaded. So I'm done here. Nothing else I need to do here. So now I'm gonna go in command, which you can do this in Canva as well. Either or will work. Um, I just used command just for things that you don't have to create. So I'm gonna go into designs. I would probably, if I'm being completely transparent, I would probably go into Canva, but not just, I'm showing you what you already have. So if you wanna go outside of that, it's perfectly capable, um, but we'll just use um, command today. So we're gonna create a design. We're gonna use social. We're going to get all the templates to load here. So I'm going to go into business or um, lead generation and then I love KW. And you could really take any um, design that you like and tweak it to be whatever. So I'm going to choose a social story because those are going to be the longer ones. So you could use this one. You could use any of these. You can change these photos. Um, the no one succeeds alone, whichever one you want. I'm going to use this one here, though, the second one. So you want to make sure it's the social story size because it's long. Obviously, your phone screen is vertical. So, so I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to change my logo. It's up to you whether you put that in there or not. You don't have to. Um, and I'm actually going to move it up here just because my screen covers like your buttons cover. So now that I have my image, I'm going to go up to images tab in designs. I'm going to click add. And then you're going to upload. I'm going to click on my my QR code and then I'm just going to add it. Obviously that's really big. So we're going to make it smaller. Um, and it clears as it loads. So it's not like pixelated or anything. Um, so one thing you're going to keep in mind, so I'm going to put it here and then I could download it and I'm done. Um, tips for this is make sure you're doing it the middle to the bottom of the image, not too far down. Um, if you're an iPhone user or even most um, Android devices, even I'm not 100%, but the time is at the top of your phone. So it's gonna cover, you don't want anything covering this QR code um, and it's gonna make it a little bit harder for them to scan it. So having it to the middle or lower would be most ideal. And then all you gotta do is download this and then email it to yourself to an email address you get on your phone and then just save it as an image, set it as your background and you're all set. So super easy to do. If I was doing this in Canva, which you can create QR codes in Canva, um, but you, um, so I would do like Facebook story maybe. Do Facebook or Instagram story will be the right size. Um, with Canva, you have a lot more options. Um, you could do one for every holiday if you wanted to and just, you know, move this stuff down, move this down, move the hat up. Rachel, that's assuming you don't already have a screensaver on there, right? It would replace your current screensaver? Right. Yes, okay. it would replace your current screensaver. Thank you. There's no getting around that. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, just move this down a little more and then there. And you could have one for every month if you really wanted to, or um, find a way to work it in, make a collage with your family photos or anything like that. Like I said, you don't have to make it a, um, your cover photo or your lock screen if you don't want to for either personal preference or security reasons, if you're concerned about that. 
you can just save it as a picture in your um, images that you pull up and look at, you know, let them scan right then and there. Um, but it's just the whole purpose is to give you that digital option um, that's one free and two, you can take it anywhere with you. You don't have to remember to bring cards or if you took the diaper bag today and forgot your purse, or if you're somebody like me who hates carrying multiple bags. So I just throw my stuff in the diaper bag and then realize something was not in my wallet or, you know, all the scenarios of the world that you could think of, of forgetting your business cards. You don't have to worry about that anymore. And then you don't have to worry about them misspelling your name, getting the wrong phone number, you know, stuff like that. It just eliminates um, the extra steps that could go wrong or not happen um, in a world of instant gratification and in a world of fast pace on the go, move, move, move. This streamlines that and makes it that much easier for your contact information to be. And that way, when you call them and when you text them, your name's going to come up because if you're like me and unless it comes to my business phone number, if I don't know your number, it's not likely I'm going to answer it. If it's important, you're going to leave a message. That is, that's just the millennial in me. Maybe I don't know. Um, but you know, we have that instant knowledge of who's calling us if they're saved in our contacts. So, and then there is ways that you can add your picture um, like that your phone connects and stuff like that. Um, so if you create that later, um, so when you, okay, that's a great question, Tina, let me, I'm going to add my phone to this and I'll share my screen so you can see what it looks like. Let me stop here. Do do now. And again, I have an iPhone, so it, from the research that I've done and where I found this originally, it should work for both Android and iPhone. What am I doing? But I can at least show you what it looks like from my standpoint. Let me get added here. 61462794. Continue. Okay. So again, as I disclaim to everybody, every time I pull something up on my phone, anything that appears on my phone while I'm screen sharing, I'm not responsible for. <laughs> totally kidding, but um, it shouldn't be anything bad, but you never know. I have some crazy people in my life. So, uh, right. So I'm going to scan. Um, so then as you can see there, I have my options, FaceTime, send a message, call, I'm going to do add to contacts and there it is. All that information has been added just like that. And it will stay in there. You don't have to worry about it coming out. Um, they just create a new contact done. There it is. And that's it. Do I have any questions? I know this was a short, sweet one today. So I scanned mine and it, and then it, you know, I got a chance to open it. I scanned it and then it showed all my information that I input. And then I opened it and I got some kind of really weird thing. Mm. But I have an Android. I don't know if that. Did it give you the option to add the, the contact? No. Interesting. But I, you know, I was trying to quickly do it and keep up with you. So I'll try it again. Okay. Maybe it's, you know, maybe I did something wrong along the way. Yeah. Let me know if it doesn't work for Android. It might need, need to be a different step or process. I'm very, um, uneducated when it comes to Android, so mm -hmm. I'll be honest. Oh, let me try it on my, I got a new toy, but it's a Galaxy, so let me try it real quick and see what it does, because I can add contacts to this sucker. I, as much as I am Apple when it comes to like iPads and stuff like that, 
I don't want to pay for that. So this is what it shows. Can you see it? Let me see. Hold on one second. Mobile activation. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, not what you want. <laughs> it's a couple of minutes late. We're in the command tab. So when I uh, when I scan it, I get this, and then. Okay, I see add contact. There was oh, at the bottom it says open, so I don't know what that is. Okay. So maybe it is okay now that I look at it more closely. Yeah. Um, Greg, I'm putting in the chat the website because you have to generate the, the QR code from outside of command. Um, so, yep. And then you'll choose the V card. I know that sounds naughty, but. <laughs> A, that's what it's called. Um, that's I totally did, a thing. I did see all of that. Uh, <laughs> it was when you were going through the command to get the QR like. Oh, so you add an image and okay. upload. Here, let me, I'll pull it back through. So once you're in command, you're going to go to images, add, and then you'll upload to attach it. Okay. And then. Is that then, that scan me KW Capital Partners is in there available to us? Yes. So this, so this is the QR code itself. So, but this right. image is if you go into so once you open designs, you're gonna choose social. And social. then um, once you get to the template options, mm -hmm. you're gonna go into lead generation. Uh, okay. And I love KW. And like I said, you can go, I mean, if you like the layout of one of these, um, as long as it's a story, it's gonna fit. But if you like the layout of one of these, you can use that and just edit the verbiage on it, delete whatever you don't want, something like that. If it's more appealing to you as far as layout, feel free to, you know, put it on there. Um, you could even, if you're feeling froggy and you want to completely do something from scratch, you can um, just delete everything off of a template and do it blank. Cool. You can really customize it, make it whatever you want. If you would rather use Canva than designs, you can literally do anything in Canva. So um, awesome. use whatever, you. whatever you prefer. Thank you. Absolutely. Any other question? Okay, what's Sarah said? Sarah Beth, Pivot Android, uploaded just fine. Okay, so, okay, awesome. I'm glad to hear it does work for Android. So, Rachel, you mentioned something about including a picture. Is there a way to include our picture when that populates as um, in their phone as a contact? Um, so from this, I don't believe so, but okay. if like, I know if, when I add a contact to my phone, if they have a picture like set up for them, I don't know if it's through their like Gmail or something along those lines, it'll ask you at least for iPhones, I can't vouch for Androids. It'll ask you if you want to add that photo to their like contacts. Okay. So when I look at like, um, let me stop sharing my screen here so we can see. So like when I do my text message, like all those people have, yeah, not all of them had pictures, but some of them will populate automatically for you. Okay. Again, iPhone, I can't vouch for Android in that department, but um, once your contact card is in their phone um, and if you have it connected that way, it should be able to add that image. Okay. Whatever trickery voodoo happens between <laughs> systems, it can do that. Got it. Thank you. Absolutely. Any other questions? Awesome. Well, this one was short and sweet. If you have any questions, um, always feel free to reach out. I will post that email or that web address one more time just in case anybody needs it. And then as long as the size of the image that you're adding is a social story, Facebook or Instagram story, you can just type in story. Um, 
it should work for you size wise. And then just make sure you're doing middle to bottom of the screen so it's not covered by your um, clock. All right. Well, everyone have a good Monday afternoon and we'll see you later. Thank you, Rachel. Appreciate Thank it. You. My pleasure. Bye.